Before we begin, I would just like to note, all the Thomas the Tank Engine footage used, and Thomas the Tank Engine in general, is owned by Moonbug Mattel. No profit is being made off this video, now sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey guys, Enrifan1 here, and today, I'm gonna be going through the Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Iceberg. This iceberg was made by Adrian Safferjay. I think I'm pronouncing that right. But anyways, let's get into it now. Here is the Thomas and Friends Iceberg. The Down the Mine Pilot. Back when Thomas was pitched over to ITV, where all Crift and the team had to make a pilot, it was based on the episode Down the Mine. The pilot noticeably had dull lighting and the characters were absent. Thomas and Gordon's models looked way more different than how they do today. Thomas was missing his lamp iron, and he didn't have a lamp, of course. His side rods were a lot chunkier, and he didn't have any linings on his splashers. Gorian also noticeably had a few changes, though they were the same as Thomas's. The pilot has not been found today. Only one shot has been found, and it was featured in the final episode that was released on ITV later in 1984. The Miller Era. The Miller Era, or the Sharon Miller Era, are all the seasons produced by Nitrogen Studios and written by Sharon Miller. They were, the seasons that they produced were seasons 13 to 16, and from what I know, they were horribly disliked by fans. The Missing Coach The Missing Coach is a cancelled episode of Thomas and Friends. It was planned to be adapted during the second season, they were about halfway through production until Britt Alcroft decided to cancel the episode due to her thinking that the episode was too complex for kids to understand, so it was eventually replaced by Thomas Percy and the Cole. Only a few screenshots of the episode have been surfaced online, however, no footage has been found. Thomas and the Magic Railroad Director's Cut Back when Thomas and the Magic Railroad was being planned out, several ideas were going through Bertolkoff's head at the time. Unfortunately, due to test audiences' complaints, some things had to be cut out from the final film, and as we all know, it was a disaster. Thomas and the UK Trip Thomas and the UK Trip is a Japanese exclusive Thomas and Friends special. It featured episodes of Thomas dubbed in Japanese, and also segments from a Japanese show, which Thomas aired on, called Hiraki Pankiki. Duke in Season 15 In a storyboard for the Season 15 episode, Kevin the Steamy, Duke, Peter Sam, and Sir Handel can be seen in one picture. In the end, they never made it into the final episode. Had it happened, this would have been Duke's first appearance in the CGI, as well as his first appearance since Season 4. Doubleheader was supposed to be made in Season 2. Originally, the episode Doubleheader, renamed Time for Trouble in the TV series, was intended to be adapted during Season 2, along with Percy's Promise. In the end, they were scrapped and pushed back to the third season, and in the second series, replaced with the Christopher Audrey stories. Derek in Season 16 In the Season 16 episode, Bust My Buffers, Derek was originally intended to make an appearance with a non-speaking role. However, due to his original name Paxman being mistaken for Paxton, Derek never appeared. Had he appeared in the final episode, this would have been Derek's first appearance since the 5th series episode, Double Teething Troubles. Tugs Back in 1988, David Mitten and Robert D. Cardona created a sister series to Thomas and Friends called Tugs. The series only lasted one season in the form of 13 episodes. A second series was planned, however, Television South, the channel that Tugs aired on, unfortunately faced bankruptcy, and so Tugs ended. 
Wooden Railway was discontinued in 2017. In 2017, Mattel announced that the long-time running brand, Wooden Railway, will be making its end, and was replaced with wood. Though as of 2021, Wooden Railway has been confirmed to be coming back. P.T. Boomer P.T. Boomer is a scrapped villain in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. He was intended to be the real reason why Lady derailed. However, due to test audience's complaints about him being too scary, Diesel 10 became the main antagonist of the movie. Hero of the Rails Face Masks During the history of Thomas' event at Swanwick May 2019, Prototype face casts of Hero Victor and Kevin could be seen. They were made for toy manufacturers as reference when they were molding their faces. James's damaged model in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. During the filming of the scene in Thomas and the Magic Railroad where James and Junior almost get killed by Diesel 10, James's model accidentally rolled off the set and was damaged. Thankfully though, the repairs took less time. Cracks can still be seen around James's model in the final film, however. Splatter and Dodge and Dennis were supposed to be in Day of the Diesels. Splatter and Dodge and Dennis were originally going to return in Day of the Diesels. However, in the end, they were replaced with Paxton, Sidney, and Norman, who share the same basis as the three Diesels. Had this happened, this would have been Splatter and Dodge's first appearances in CGI, as well as their first appearances since Thomas and the Magic Railroad, and Dennis's first appearance since The Great Discovery. Hero of the Rails Model Series At one point during production, Hero of the Rails was meant to be a model series special. It was going to use CGI faces and model faces like Season 12. However, due to models being too expensive to make at that point, Hero of the Rails was transferred over to CGI instead. The Sad Story of Henry 1953 Back in 1953, the BBC wanted to make a story on the sad story of Henry. The pilot was filmed using Hornby models. The pilot was going well at first, until a set of points caused Henry to derail due to not being switched properly, and then a hand put Henry back on the tracks again. The pilot soon became a laughing stock, and Wilbur Audrey was furious. As a result, the next airing for the next episode was cancelled. Toby's stolen model from Drayton Manor. In 2011, during an exhibition at Drayton Manor, Toby's model was stolen from the display. It is not known what came of the model, and it is not known who stole it. George and Cranky in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. In an early draft for Thomas and the Magic Railroad, George and Cranky play roles in it. George was going to be one of Diesel 10's henchmen and would destroy buffers around the island to see which ones were the magic buffers. And Cranky had a non-speaking role where he would drop a crate of oil cans on Diesel 10. And he would later drop a crate of fruit on Splatter and Dodge. However, their scenes were never filmed. However, Cranky can still be seen in one scene. When Diesel 10 is rolling out of his shed, Cranky's base can be spotted, and in a behind the scenes picture, his full model with a face mask. Henry was supposed to be scrapped after the Flying Kipper accident. In the Railway Series book, Henry the Green Engine, after the Flying Kipper accident, Henry was originally going to be scrapped. However, because writers insisted it, Henry was given a rebuild after the accident. Thomas's Elderly Face During production of the fourth season, Thomas had an elderly face mask made. 
It was made by model maker Jeremy King, and was modeled after David Mitten as a joke face. The face has become well known for Thomas's fake brother, Timothy the Ghost Engine. Super Rescue in Season 3 I don't know if this one is true or not, but I guess Season 3 was originally going to continue the story Super Rescue. I'm not sure, as it's not been confirmed if it was meant to be an episode or not. And finally, a very bad slur in Henry the Green Engine. In early editions of Henry the Green Engine, it contained a very offensive slur. It got so bad that the book was later reported in the national press in 1972. In the end, Wilbur Audrey apologized deeply for his actions, and in later revisions, the line was removed. And that, guys, is the Thomas the Tank Engine Iceberg. Remember, this iceberg was made by Adrian Safra J. Make sure to go subscribe to his channel, because he made this amazing iceberg. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.